Hi! On this problem, is I'm going to show you how to compute for the value of the resultant vector and its direction. Just for example, on this problem, if Joshua walks 3 meters going to the east and 2 meters going to the north, what would be the resultant vector? Now, the first thing that you need to do if you are finding the resultant vector is you need to illustrate or draw the vector. This is how your vector will look like. So let's say that it is 3 meters to the east and 2 meters to the north. Now draw an imaginary line that will represent your resultant vector. Now let's proceed to the computation. The formula that we will use in getting the resultant vector is the Pythagorean theorem, which is c squared is equals to a squared plus b squared. Now let us substitute the values. So we have here 3 squared plus 2 squared, then it would be 9 plus 4, and c squared is equals to 13. Now, we need to eliminate the square present on c. Therefore, we need to get the square root of both sides. So it would be the square root of c squared is equals to the square root of 13. Therefore, c would be equals to 3.61 meters. That would be the value of the resultant vector. Next one, what if we want to find the value of the direction or the angle of the vector? We will use the three trig trigonometric functions. So it can be the sine theta, cosine theta, or the tangent theta. We have here sine theta is equals to opposite over hypotenuse. Let us substitute the values of the opposite and the hypotenuse, which is 2 over 3.61. So sine theta is equals to 0 0.55. Now we need to move sine to the other side of the equation. So it would be theta is equals to inverse sine multiplied by 0 0.55. Therefore, theta would be 33.37 degrees.